Okay, let's do a hard reset on this Moto G power and let's go the phone must be power off and remove any external memory card to save some file store in this phone. It is a factor reset with the external keys, everything is gonna be deleted on the phone. It is important that you know your Google account associated with the phone because after the factor reset, you will have to confirm or verify Google in order to proceed and get to the initial setup screen. <clears throat> and it's important that you you understand that everything is going to be deleted on your phone internal memory like pictures videos contacts um any application downloaded on the phone and also uh web history and etc and um but with the same google account after the factor reset um you will be able to retrieve any information um uh, that you did a previous backup on the phone okay it's going to be going to start using the volume down key and power key the phone like i said it must be power off and we're going to hold volume down and power key together and as soon as the um some recovery options appear on the screen you're going to delete delete both items okay volume down and power okay when you get there, just uh, release both keys, okay? Now you're gonna use volume down to uh, skip our options. And let me change the, there you go. Okay, so now um, you're gonna scroll by using volume down and find out the recovery mode. Once the recovery mode is on, just press the power key and wait for the Android uh, logo or robot to appear on the screen. There you go. Now, one it is no command. Let's uh, gonna press volume down and power key at the same time, and this finger right here has has to be ready to press volume down. I mean volume up. Sorry. So both both fingers volume down key at the same time, and up to three seconds press the volume up. Okay. So volume down and power and up. There you go. And now you're gonna get the recovery menu using volume down key. Uh, let's go highlight wipe data factory reset and press the power key that will become your enter or OK. And now using volume down, highlight factory data reset. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, once you press the power key, automatically will start the uh, re uh, factory reset. So, understand that everything is going to be deleted on your phone internal memory. And there is no way to retrieve. Like I said, remove the external memory card, and you may have to remove the SIM card. But actually, you usually there's nothing stored in there. So press the power key. And if wait a few seconds, um, the phone will reboot. Uh, so I'm three, five, two minutes. Okay, it's right here. Uh, press, uh, val I mean, aromatically highlight reboot system now. Press the power key to confirm. We need to restart, restart the phone. Right there. <clears throat> so here it's going to take a few five to eight seconds um, for the phone to properly uh, reboot and take us to the initial setup screen where we are able to. Uh, register language and other uh, things to get to the home screen uh, just in case that you get stuck on um, Motorola logo or any other um, uh, icon uh, usually what happens is that uh, you need to calibrate the motherboard of the phone so if this is your case just uh, long press the power key to power off the phone and start over again with the same process. You can do the same process at to eight, ten times if possible to uh, calibrate the motherboard because sometimes we have so many stuff in the phone and we fail to uh, reboot a couple, some five times a month. And when we fail to do that, the system uh, get ringed and that's when the phones don't work properly. So, all right, so we are on the initial setup screen and let's go in um <clears throat> these are the languages that you can use on this moto g power okay so and just select your favorite language and um so in this case i want to stay with english and 
um, hit the start button. Okay, now if you have a Wi-Fi connected to the Wi-Fi or you already have a active SIM card from Straytel Wireless, in this case, this is from Straytel Wireless or any of your carrier, just um, <clears throat> select it and um, or you, so you can use the um, mobile. Okay, so you can use the mobile network if um, you have the same SIM card on the from the phone and activate it uh, or you have to register a Wi-Fi in order to uh, confirm a Google or verify Google account. Okay, you need to confirm this step. So just choose your network type. Okay, once you uh, the next step, just copy and transfer data. If you are using another Motorola phone, um, just you can uh, transfer your stuff from your new phone. Or just right now, I'm gonna choose just don't copy. And you can do this after when you get to the home uh, screen. So you don't have to worry about these steps. And now uh, you have to confirm or verify Google uh, because your phone was previously uh, registered with a Google account. So just uh, enter the email address and then uh, or uh, create an account. Create, you can create an account when the phone is brand new. But if you already previously have a Google account in the phone, you have to enter that Google account associated with the phone with the password and then we let you continue to the next step okay next step is um selecting google services i highly recommend you to uh, keep the location on and uh, allow scanning any wi-fi available in your area they will let you act uh, notify so you can save um, your data package from your carrier and location is important because anything that you go to look on the looking for on google account, google search engine the first result you're gonna get is the one of your phone's location. So it's important that you have that one on. And also if there's any update for your Android, uh, they will not notify you automatically um, to uh, stay up to date with your Android, okay? So just uh, accept terms and conditions. And then next steps is you can go ahead and create a, a lock screen for your phone. Um, so you can create a pin password or you can check here the your options you can use a pattern pin or password only okay so um just um you can create this one now or you can do it after when we get to the uh, home screen okay you want to skip this step for now you can do it from settings anyway so all right so review additional applications you can uh, uh, use google docs google sheets google slides you have the um, on your Motorola okay this is uh, terms and conditions from Motorola so just uh, accept terms and condition and uh, let's say in touch so personal your experience uh, you can everything uh, the first known be heard exclusive access uh, you can check your email here and so Motorola can send you any uh, updates or any news on your smart about uh, Motorola so you can uh, stay up to date okay next and then uh, carrier location access uh, location permission this is like i said before um <clears throat> they the they, they have the location of your phone it's better when you search stuff online so okay you can grant carrier location access device location or uh, allow all the time allow only while using the app or denying okay so just denying well that's myself but you can say yes or okay accept terms and condition of this um, um uh, option and a new way to navigate and uh, gestures you can uh, keep this or you can change it um on settings actually i'm going to do a tutorial on how to change the navigation uh, bars or navigation screen on this Motorola. so just search these steps on my um if you would rather to have the buttons instead of gestures for I, myself i like the buttons instead of gestures so um so just uh, you can um change this option on go to settings or just uh, let's go in uh, go to the home screen all right so this is how to how reset this model g power uh, let me know if you have any other questions please subscribe to the channel and uh, search my other tutorials related to this smartphone 
and uh, any questions uh, let me know in the comments thank you